Question of the Week from the Naked Scientists. Hello and welcome to Question of the Week. I'm Otis Kingsman, and in today's episode, we'll be tackling this head spinner from listener Linda. Can the spinning of the Earth be used as a source of electricity similar to the spinning of wind turbines? Alternate energy sources are always something scientists are working on to combat climate change. So can we use the natural spinning of the Earth to generate electricity? I asked for the help of Matt Rooney, Head of Engineering Policy at the Institution of Mechanical Engineers, to first explain how wind turbines work. So wind turbines work by capturing the energy from wind and producing electricity. They do this by having very large blades. So as the wind passes over the blade, this creates a pressure differential similar to an aircraft wing. This creates the rotational force, which drives the turbine and rotates it, which drives a generator to create electricity. Sadly, if we were to attach a generator to the earth like the blades of a wind turbine, the earth's rotation is just once a day, so it's currently too slow to produce any meaningful charge with today's technology. However, so in a roundabout way, the rotation of the Earth does create the conditions for uh, wind turbines to capture energy from wind because our weather conditions are created by the sun's energy and the rotation of the Earth. That's right. The rotation of the Earth is, in a way, already being harnessed to generate electricity. Unfortunately, with how unpredictable wind can be, it can be quite difficult to harness the entire amount of electricity. But recently, wind turbines have become a lot more efficient. A load factor is the ratio of the maximum energy or electricity that can be produced compared to what is actually produced during the year. So traditional power stations have some downtime for maintenance and so on. But as we know with wind turbines, the wind doesn't always blow. But wind turbines have become more sophisticated, so they have sensors so they can adjust to harness more energy from the weather and generate more electricity. There are also discussions of how offshore wind turbines are being developed to float, so they can be moved around to get the maximum efficiency. So the load factor from wind turbines has gone up from 30%, maybe some years ago, to some offshore wind turbines have a a load factor of up to 50%, which is very impressive. In answer to your original question, Linda, we currently can't generate electricity directly from the rotation of the Earth. But the rotation of the Earth, along with the sun's energy, creates the weather conditions on Earth that we use to drive wind turbines and generate electricity. Thank you, Linda, for asking that question. Next week, we'll be springing our senses to this question from listener Mark. In the early 1960s, my high school teacher in Canberra, Mr Turnbull, asked the class, if a compressed spring is dissolved in acid, where does the potential energy go? He said it was an ideal spring that would dissolve uniformly and confessed that he did not know the answer. If you at home have a question, submit it to our website, nakedscientists.com, put it on our forum, nakedscientists.com forward slash forum, or email us at chris at nakedscientists.com. I'm Otis Kingsman. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you next time. Question of the Week is part of the Naked Scientists podcast and supported by the Wellcome Trust and UK Fast. Look us up online at nakedscientists.com.